Hi guys and welcome to my channel again. It's Izu here and I hope you're all well. Today I woke up and saw all over Twitter um, that the creator stuff back fourth world has come around. I saw some pictures of the objects and it really caught my eye. To be honest, I haven't voted or been interested with this stuff back voting uh, thing after the first round. I really wanted the happy haunts and I really hope that maybe in a future we will get it as or something similar as a game pack or something because it really really was super interesting and I really like those kind of occult and darker themes um, in this game. So when I saw that the arts and crafts and knitting one, I I wasn't really interested in anymore <laughs> until now. And today I saw the pictures in Twitter that some people had taken screenshots of the objects and they really looked very nice. I just liked the overall concept and made me uh, interested again. So today we're doing the stuff back vote, the fourth vote uh, that's focusing on the objects of this pack, like the build and buy um, objects. And here you see the first page. If you haven't voted yet, you can go uh, and vote from the game. So when you open the Sims game, there should be uh, this kind of news page, like the front page, before you click uh, load game or um, new game. The first news or clip there should be this vote if you haven't voted yet or if you haven't clicked the little box that says that you don't want to continue participating in any votes uh, in the future. So. Be sure not to click that if you want to give your voice and opinion uh, in the future. So let's get on with this vote. So in this fourth vote, you will be picking your favorite build by mode item concepts based on the DIY delight art style. This will include objects that can be crafted by your sims using the knitting skill, as well as build by mode objects that can be used in your sims home. Top voted items across the various categories will balance the pack to ensure it contains an array of items spread across crafted gameplay and the different build and buy mode options. Okay, so let's continue. So, the, oh, okay, the first vote is rocking chairs. This is really interesting and fun. I saw a comment, I think it was Nixel's comment on Twitter that said, or I, I think it was hers, um, sorry if I'm uh, mixing up something, but she said that uh, she doesn't understand why we can't choose either with cushion or without cushion, that she didn't understand why we had to choose like with arms or no arm or the armrest, whatever. I really do agree. I think it would have been better to have just one rocking chair and then the one like type or swatch without the cushion and then another with a cushion. So I don't understand why we have just like either or. So that's just one downside to this. But either way, let's vote. So we are exciting to announce that a new gameplay object for this pack will be drumroll. Rocking chairs, what better place for your sims to craft their cozy knit. Okay, so you can choose between the 1 to 10 objects. I really do like the more like traditional looking type of chair. Uh, something I could imagine my grandmother's house. So I think I'm gonna go with the nine. I like that style. And it's more like uh, there's details and I do like that. Then every knitter needs portable storage to hold supplies for their current project. 
with this in mind we have created seven fabulous knitting basket concepts for you to vote on okay so these are like oh my god the bunny is so cute okay so there are baskets that you can maybe place uh, in your sims inventory i don't know but they are portable they said so maybe they can take it with them and start knitting wherever i don't know that sounds really fun so if i'm thinking about like carrying an object then maybe the sixth and then i really like the fourth because it's more like a home like i i do have a basket that looks kind of like that one <laughs> so maybe but the bunny is so cute oh my god how can i choose <laughs> The bunny is, is so cute. And if I'm thinking where would I like have these in my game, I probably would have them in some like granny and granddad's house or an aunt's or uncle's house and maybe kids. I don't know, something along the lines with family gameplay. So maybe the bunny is not too like childish. Because I do like the bunny, because you, I think at least you can make toys with this pack. So maybe I just go with the bunny, because everything cute, it's just, I don't know, I can't. <laughs> I can't resist anything cute. Okay, next one. And now it's time to make the really hard choice about which objects belong in this pack. Objects with blue numbers could be crafted by your sims as a part of the knitting skill or could appear in the build by mode catalog as standard build by obje objects, okay? So the blue ones can be made by the sims, okay, that sounds really cool. Uh, objects with black numbers are not craftable and would appear in build and by mode catalog as standard objects. Okay, so I think I'm gonna... Oh, there are too many. How can I choose? What the... Oh my god, they're making me choose between, like, all of these things. I could just pick all the toys, and that would be my vote. <laughs> I can't choose between these. Oh no! Okay, select up to 28 build and buy mode objects that you would want to see included in the knitting themed arts and crafts stuff pack from the above collage each item has a number associated with it that maps to the checkboxes below okay i'm sorry my nose is running all the time okay i would like to have a pen now i do not have one so i'm using my phone because <laughs> now i need to focus so i need a list now oh my god my nose is running like crazy so i think first i'm gonna go through this list and pick my favorites and then i'm gonna choose most uh that are blue because that, that's really good that you can make them in the game and then after i've chosen them if i have still place for something else i will pick the standard objects for example uh desks and all of these doors i really like the doors actually okay let's see first there are some little plates i don't know <laughs> oh my god the cat is so cute and then some jars some some of these signs is this nine okay yeah I couldn't see that. <gasps> that could have been an object that you could make. That's so cool. Okay, I'm not a huge fan of these tapestries. Ooh, okay, 14. I like 14. 15. Oh, I love the plants. I won't be voting for all the plants, don't worry. <laughs> but they're so cute. 20, 21. Oh, 22, it's cute. 27. That's really cute. 28. Um, 29. I think these are kind of like clutter things. I really like them. 30. Oh, I remember making these as kids. <laughs> 31. Is that kind of a 
clothes hanger i don't know 26 oh that's super cute 27 no 37 sorry 122 what is this number <laughs> oh my god what's happening here i think they put it in the wrong place and just moved that that's super weird okay then we go to the toys i love the toys i'm gonna vote for everything okay not maybe everything but 39 40 41 i hear you nixel <laughs> 42 and 43 oh my god i love the 44 and 45 they're so cute oh my god the tragic clown that's like the best and the green reaper that's super cool 46 47 48 my favorite is 47 then desks mm, which is my favorite let's go with like one or two i don't know i think my favorite is 50 i really like that because it has this kind of board though the 49 has more storage i will go through this list again don't worry i like this window 56 oh we're near the end and i'm not even halfway yet okay let's go with one or two doors i really like the 65 that could be like a crafts room type of door i really like that and then 67 I imagine that would be very nice in a cottage type of place or something. Then um, I'm not a huge fan of the mailboxes. Curtains, ooh, they could be really good. 75 is my favorite. This is very good. I really like this kind of storage wall unit. I don't know what to call it. I don't know which is my favorite though. I don't know, maybe 80. Let's go with 80 then we have some shelving oh my god there's a little hedgehog oh my god i need that <laughs> it's so cute um there's a little like a trolley type of thing and then ooh, they can make all of these that's cool okay 86 is craftable 88 that's super cute like a watermelon 89 I'm way over the limit already. <laughs> oh, this is going to be hard. Okay, 94. I know this is the same um, pattern as the rug we already have. But I really like that pattern as a wallpaper. Then we have some shelving. These are like nice... <gasps> They make the poofs themselves. Oh my god, that's so cool. Okay, I need to vote for them. Okay, my favorite is 105, I think. Um, that's super cool. I really hope they can sit on them. Chairs. I'm gonna put the 109, even though I don't think I'm gonna be voting for that. And then the sofas. This is really hard. Okay, um, I don't know though. The 121 is super cool. I really like that. I'm gonna put that on my list. Maybe 115 and 16. Because I really like that. This is more like modern maybe. Though this is very cool. I really like the 113 and 14 too. Actually, let's vote for them. Because I don't think we have anything like that in the game yet. So let's do... 113 and 114 i think that's it okay let's go to the beginning now i have 35 <laughs> objects <laughs> on my list okay let's narrow it down um 14 is my first 14 okay that's really cute i like that 16 is the next one 16 17 18 90 okay um my favorite I really want them all. <laughs> we don't have that many hanging plants, I don't think. I don't know. Let's think about that later. <laughs> 22nd. I really like that. I hope the pattern stays the same. I love the bear. Uh, 27. I think we already have some of uh, kids' things. So 
I'm gonna go with the 29 because that's more like crafty knitting thing the next one is 36 okay that's the little strawberry plant I really like that uh, 37 I really like that too the problem is I love plants like I really really love plants and I use them with all my builds I mean every single one so <laughs> I'm really excited to get more plants <laughs> and oh I didn't see that they're craftable okay 39 through 35 are all toys okay I don't think we need that many toys so maybe we don't vote for the 40 and okay we don't the thing is we don't need necessarily both of the 42 and 43 but imagine like twins with these toys that would be super cute yeah I'm gonna vote for the both of them <laughs> I'm sorry I'm sorry but the good thing is that you can all vo vote for yourselves so you don't have to agree with me to say <laughs> 47 maybe not okay now the question is which one of these would be better Okay, maybe I will vote for the 49 because you can, I think at least, you can put a chair on it. So maybe you can use it as a real desk. Then we have 56. I really like the windows. I hope that they are kind of like open this way, so I'm, I have to vote for them. And then let's not vote for the 67 because I don't think we need two doors. We already have something kind of similar without the plants or the... I don't know what this is actually. Some kind of wreath, I don't know. But I'm gonna vote for, for uh, 65 because I really like that. And we don't have that many like indoor doors. 75 is the next one. I'm gonna keep that because we don't have that many curtains. And 77... What is 77? Oh, another curtains. Maybe not them, because I don't really like the frill at the top. I don't know. So the next one is 80. Okay, that's good. 84. Which is 84? Oh, the hedgehog. I need it in my life. <laughs> 86, 88, 89. There are all rugs. 86 and 89 is kind of similar, so maybe we can go with 86. Oh, okay, now I have 28 objects. Okay, let's go to the bottom of the list. Uh, 88, uh, that's the watermelon. 94, wallpaper. Then 105 is the poof. 109 is the chair. 121 is that one like an ottoman or something and then these two okay this is good I'm gonna go and choose all of these from the list and be right back okay so now I have voted for all of the stuff in the list done I'm sorry there's somebody coming home so they're doing something <laughs> Okay, so this was the survey. I hope you all enjoyed doing this with me. Now I'm really excited for the stuff back again. <laughs> this always happens to me that first something comes like announced, uh, something gets announced. I get excited, but then something happens and then I'm like, oh, well, okay, let's see, whatever. And then some time passes and something happens again and I'm like oh yeah this is so good this is so interesting and I really love this again <laughs> I hope you like this video and if you want to see me do these votes or something similar um, in the future like the video or leave a comment so I know that you like these type of videos have a great day or night and week or weekend whenever you're watching and see you in my next video. Bye!